Peter Dutton says a Tamil family of asylum seekers must return back to their home country of Sri Lanka following a last-minute court order to keep them in Australia. Live to Andrea Crothers, who joins us from Melbourne this morning. Andrea, good morning. The fate of the family remains in limbo. That's right, Peter. They did get an injunction order last night, which means that they aren't allowed to be deported from Australia until at least 12 noon today. Now, the Tamil family, Priya, her wife, uh, husband, Nadez, and their two Australian-born children were on a plane from Melbourne last night at 11 o'clock when an injunction call came, meaning that they had to land in Darwin at 3 a.m. this morning, and the Immigration Minister was unable to deport them back to Sri Lanka. Now, this family has been in Melbourne Detention Centre since March 2018 when they were removed from their family home home in a small central Queensland town of Billawilla. Now, we had Peter Dutton this morning who's already said that, no, this family should be deported. Have, take a listen. I would like the family to accept that they are not refugees, that they're not owed protection by our, by our country. They came here by boat and we've been very clear that they wouldn't stay. At the same time, we've been very compassionate about the number of people that we've brought in, including many families. But in this case, they've been found right to the High Court not to be refugees. Now, that high, high Court appeal bid was rejected earlier this year, despite concerns from supporters of the family that their safety was at risk should they go back to Sri Lanka. Uh, the, it is at the Minister's discretion whether they uh, can overrule that. However, this is what Labor frontbencher Richard Miles had to say. This is about, about the lives of real people. Um, this is a real family that's being affected here, and the government has rights. As, as Peter has said, the minister has a discretion here which can be used. Uh, the community in Billawheeler clearly have made it uh, evident as to how they would like to see this discretion used. Mm -hmm. Two daughters were born here. They know no other country but Australia. Um, and it's not about stats from the past. It's about this family right now. Now, as the hours wind down in this long-running saga, the Tamil Refugee Council says they will continue to fight for the family to stay in Australia. We will continue to fight till this family is brought to Bilovila. They face uh, danger in Sri Lanka. Sri Lankan government mistreats uh, Tamil people. The matter will be heard before the Federal Circuit Court of Australia here in Melbourne at 10 o'clock. Peter.